The Sheep and the Rowan Tree by Julia Butcher. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful rowan tree. It grew in the middle of a big grassy field. When the sun was high in the sky, a flock of sheep came to rest in the shade of the tree. When it rained, the sheep sought shelter under the leafy branches. Sometimes the sheep wandered away to a pine tree on the far side of the field. while the lambs chased each other across the grass. The rowan tree also longed to see new places. It was tired of being rooted to the same spot. One day, a large white bird flew down and landed on top of the rowan tree. The migrating bird had lost its way in a storm and was far off course. The bird told the rowan tree about its home in a far off land and the rowan tree told the bird of its longing to see different places. Because the bird had traveled nearly all the way around the world, it was able to describe other lands to the tree. There are many trees and different kinds of animals in the tropical forest, said the bird. But your little branches could not reach the sunlight, and you would be choked by the undergrowth. In the desert, there is plenty of sunshine, said the bird. But it hardly ever rains, so there are no clouds to hide the sun. The polar regions would be cooler, said the bird. But there it is winter all the time, and your leaves would fall off, never to grow again. Coral islands are beautiful when the sea is calm, said the bird. But when there are hurricanes, you could not bend with the wind, and the waves of the sea would splash you with salty water. Some people have very pretty gardens, said the bird. But they would pick your flowers, make jelly with your berries, and trim your leaves. There are many big cities in the world where you might grow very well, said the bird, but children would swing on your branches and carve their names on your trunk. This field is just right for you, said the bird. Here you have a little sunshine, a little rain, and some very good friends. Now that I have rested a while, I must continue my journey. Then the bird flew high up into the sky. The rowan tree was very unhappy to have lost the beautiful blue bird. The sheep were very unhappy because the pine tree they were living under wasn't shady enough. So the sheep returned to their favorite tree. And at last the rowan tree knew that it had already found the best place to live in the whole wide world. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.